All right. All right, Scorpio. So right now what I'm seeing here is with the hangman in reverse here, this is what you're feeling right now. So you could be feeling that this person has put you on hold, okay? Or you just feel that there's just a forced sacrifice that you need to make, okay? But this is more like, you know, like a very temporary sacrifice is what I'd also I'd say, okay? But you definitely feel like you're making a forced sacrifice. Someone's put you on hold and uh, you're just getting frustrated, okay? The hangman in reverse is also the card of Pisces. You can have Pisces in your birth chart, but this is also where you just feel like um you know i'm getting that you could be in a connection with this person right where you knew that there were a lot of red flags but you refused to see the red flags okay and you kept going on and on and on and on you did pause you know you don't take out that time to reflect on what was wrong in the situation rather you let it go you know how we're, we're very involved in our day-to-day -day activities and we don't give a shit about what is going on because we just don't have the time or we refuse to see the situation all right so now things have come to complete halt right now and you feel stuck okay but this is again a sacrifice that you feel you need to make right now okay if you want things your way you're feeling emotionally very very neglected by this person okay with the six of wands in reverse here you could be feeling very undervalued you could be feeling very very neglected you feel unloved not appreciated okay and uh you also feel that probably something's just not a success with this person okay it could be maybe you're just lacking the attention this person's not giving you the attention and uh you could also be feeling very uh like you know you just feel like uh either this person fails to take responsibilities for their actions or you just feel there's a lack of forward moment here something's just not going to be successful however your approach with the high priestess here you're doing your best to trust your intuition all right you're anyways a very intuitive sign you're trusting your best and you're doing your best to trust your intuition right now <clears throat> that's your approach so yeah clearly it looks like you're giving this person the silent treatment but why i'm saying silent treatment is yes when i'm saying no communication there are chances but sometimes you can have a little bit of communication back and forth but right now you're choosing to completely uh, close off yourself and you have all trust uh, in the divine and um, you're just wanting to see where this goes this person out here with a four of cups here right this person is um very unhappy without you all right right off the bat they're very discontented okay and uh this is someone who's just feeling very rejected also by you okay or this person they just feel they, they're feeling re rejection we can see but i feel this person is just missing you a lot okay they feel you've just stopped the connection all of a sudden okay or they could have stopped it but this is just someone who feels very discontented with their life okay they're very bored right now and uh this is a lot of stagnation that's come in their life but this is also a lot of some kind of depression also okay it's a very low vibrational place, place that this person is in in their feelings in their emotions we have the five of pentacles in reverse here so yeah this person is definitely um uh, someone again like I said right this person has a fear of rejection or they could have it could be someone who's um, having those abandonment issues <coughs> four five both these are very very low vibrational energies okay I'm getting that codependent energy from this person okay they're very codependent on you and um, they constantly feel the need to for you to be around okay they lack progress like they feel the need to be mothered all the time or you know to, to be you know to have a father around. like someone you know they need someone to give them constant assurance that you're there you're there you're there you're there okay because of which you feel that something's not a success because you could have tried this with this person over and over again okay and now you just feel like it's just useless so for you it's like <coughs> you feel it's best to hold back from this person in their attitude unlike you they're still doing the same shit okay they're still doing the same thing they're making the road more difficult than it seems they know they need to come forward in order for them to come forward towards you they need to get let go of whatever happened in the past that they're still focusing on something that doesn't serve them something that doesn't make them happy they're still not looking at that opportunity that is presented to them where they can reach out to you but they're choosing not to why because they have abandonment issues all right very codependent very lonely they know they don't need to go through this road alone but they're choosing to do it and with the six of swords in reverse here, they're, they're repeating a cycle again and again, you know. So probably every single time you guys break up or you have a separation or something goes wrong, right? They don't, they don't break that uh, barrier, you know. Every time they see a barrier, every time they know that, oh, that I need to break that barrier in order for me to move towards my Scorpio or to have a better relationship with Scorpio, they rather turn around. You know, they take like a roundabout and they go back to doing the same shit. 
you know good is again sitting there moping depressed upset <coughs> the reason for the reading the root of the issue is the justice card here which means that one of you either looks like scorpio you want commitment from this person okay you just want things to be balanced and things to be fair with the justice sir either one of you is married that could be one issue here because we have the justice here or one of you wants marriage commitment or something just um you know um something legally bound or this is just karma all right this is just karma the other person is just getting their karma what you both want mutually is the nine of swords in reverse which means you both want to see the light at the end of the tunnel okay you both want to get out of this sleepless nights this fear anxiety panic mode all right likely or come i don't know about the communication yet but with the death in reverse here this is someone who has this person has no intentions of losing you or letting you go right out the bat they have no intentions of letting you go no nope, they're not gonna let you go they cannot move on they cannot six of swords in reverse here they probably tried and they couldn't or they just haven't tried they don't even want to try because they know they can't okay they need you they need you big time they could be acting like they're too cool right now probably in their social media they're trying to show that they're absolutely okay they're having fun dude they're fucked all right they are try for the hangman in reverse <coughs> strength <laughs> you are doing every single thing that you can every single thing that you need and every single thing that you can do under the sun to resist from this person or you're withholding from this person here you are you're being stubborn dude with the hangman in reverse here that's another way of looking at it this is you who is refusing to budge you refuse to budge and look at things from their point of view i'm not saying that their point of view is nice but this is just you who's probably just you know like um yeah i mean like i said right you just feel you're forced to make the sacrifice like you love this person probably to the core but you just feel you can't help it you just got to do what you got to do because this is something that is required okay either in order to get this person back to come towards you in the right way or to just break a negative pattern We'll take care how it resonates but you're doing your best to hold back from this person okay king of cups here you love this person but not really wanting to show it to them knight of swords in reverse you want to talk to this person okay but you're holding back communication all right tell me about the four of cups please why is this person in that four of cups energy give me one card four of cups please all right five of swords yeah see No matter what happens with the nine of cups here, you make me very, very happy, Scorpio. But I am not going to give up. I'm not going to stop these mind games. I'm not going to stop sabotaging this connection. And uh, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing because you are going to come back to me. Because I'm the best thing that's ever happened to Scorpio. And Scorpio makes that move. And once Scorpio comes back, it's going to be a victory, but it's going to be a lame ass empty victory. Because they're still going to lose and they know that. They see you walking away, but they're still not giving up those stupid, useless, egoistic ways, okay? They're still playing themselves, babe. They are. And with the four of cups here, this is them doing it to themselves, Scorpio. Don't take it. Don't take it on you. It's not you. It's them. The moment the five of swords comes in, period. I have nothing more to say. I cannot advocate for this person here. That's a very nasty energy and that is just someone who constantly pushes you away to the point of sabotaging things that they want. They want you. Okay, just see how miserable they are without you. But they have their ego. They're not going to make that move towards you no matter how much it hurts. All right, no problem. All right, tell me about the 6 of wands in reverse here. Why does Scorpio feel like that? Why is the 6 of wands in reverse here? Eight of Swords in reverse here. See, you feel this person's watching you, stalking you, spying on you, but they just won't take action. They just won't make a move towards you. You pretty much know, and that's why you feel there's a lack of forward moment here because you probably even think this person is as an attention seeker. That's what you feel. You know they're watching you. You know they're keeping tabs on you, but they refuse to talk, refuse to take action here. This is someone you're dealing with who's very immature in communication anyways, okay? So there could be some in and out communication, shitty communication is what I'm saying. But that's one of the biggest reasons why this won't go forward, because they're in their ego. Six of Wands in reverse, overinflated egos, all right? Scorpio, no, I'm not saying you don't have your ego, but you got a point here, all right? You got a point here. I mean, that side is... way more negative than your side all right so now scorpio this could definitely be you this could be them take it how it resonates feel free to flip the side all right but that's how it is 
That's why you'll feel that things are just not moving forward and something's just not going to be a success because this person just doesn't seem to take any action. They watch from a distance and they like to love you from a distance. It's better out there. Tell me about the five of pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the five of pentacles in reverse. Knight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. See, this person is... <clears throat> They're, they're just lacking that ambition, okay? They're lacking that motivation and ambition to uh, come towards you. Okay, so anyways, this could be someone, you know, who's very, very slow moving towards you. They anyways never made you a priority. Priority. They probably were dragging the situation, okay? And dragging you, stringing you along, okay? And now, this is definitely someone who's bored of a situation, okay? But at least for right now, they're lacking the effort and the motivation, okay? Lacking the effort and motivation to come towards you. About the five of pentacles in reverse here again. They want to return to you. They want to. But when it comes to putting in the effort, not up. Alright. Tell me about the high priestess. Tell me about the high priestess. Ace of cups. Yeah, you want this brand new beginning with this person, okay? But ace of swords in reverse here. You feel this person's just holding back communication. They're not talking. See, that's I mean that, that's what the reading is about, right? <laughs> no communication i mean this person just does not communicate the truth there's a lack of clarity there's you're not getting closure this person keeps you confused there's a lot of resistance from this person you know with ace of swords in reverse here that's why you are ready to have this new beginning with this person okay you're trusting your intuition you know there's a new beginning coming in but it won't happen till this person does not open up again you probably have a lot of love for this person but with the knight of cups in reverse here you refuse to accept it, or I mean, not refuse to accept it, you refuse to open up. Ace of Swords in reverse could also be you. It could also be you, Scorpio, no? not wanting to talk to this person. You refuse to give in to this person. <clears throat> you have resistance to communicate too. Suppressing communication. Alright, tell me about the Six of Swords in reverse. Why is this their approach? Why is the Six of Swords in reverse here? The emperor they refuse to change their old ways knight of cups in reverse here again yeah they have they want to take control of the situation with the emperor here okay they want to come in they want to take control of the situation they want to boss up man up woman up whatever right they want to set those healthy boundaries and they're dead serious about here okay in their approach they want to do this but with the six of swords in reverse here they're not wanting to They're making it more difficult, you know. They know what they need to do, but they refuse to do it. They fear change. They don't want to be vulnerable. See, Five of Swords here. I want to have the last word. We do what I say. You know, that egoistic, you know, lack of communication. You know, they know they, they, they know they, you need to talk about it. They know this conversation needs to happen. But they won't do it. They won't do it. They'll sit there and mope with the Four of Cups here, you know, sad, depressed, upset, missing you, <sighs> drinking, whatever. But approach Emperor, okay, so they're, they're the upright. I like this very much, okay, so yeah. But again, Six of Swords and Reverse here, they're having a hard time moving through, you know, only because they don't want to be vulnerable, you know. They know probably Three of Pentacles and Reverse here, they... You keep hitting a wall with this person, you know, or you, or they probably feel that every single time they come to talk to you or tell you something about it. The problem here is you probably, you guys are just not on the same page, okay? And they feel they're not being, being able to put their point across to you. you. You feel you can't put the point across to them. That's why, you know, and you guys keep going in circles, you know. This person knows what they need to do, but they won't do it. They won't do it. Why is the justice here? Tell me why is the justice here? Two of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, see, one of you has made it very, very clear and that is the reason for the situation. Someone wants things to be fair. Someone wants things to be balanced. Someone's made a very logical and fair decision. I feel this is someone here who's very, very clear about what they want and what they want is commitment or what they want is things to be fair, equal give and take, a balanced relationship. Ace of Pentacles here. Someone wants a lot of stability and security out here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse. <coughs> Tell me about the Nine of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Lovely. You both want to get out of your head. You both have so much love for each other. Why would you want to put up the charade? I don't get it. 
Things have ended between you guys. Agreed. But you both want to talk. You both want to get out of your hell. You both want to get out of the sleepless panic mode. You know, sleepless nights. You'll want to get out of this anxiety and you'll want things to move forward like really fast. You'll both want communication. But, okay. You both have so much love for each other. The two of cups, that was an upright there. That was upright. There's a strong soul as connection, you know, that you guys have. Soulmate, sorry. But, <clears throat> you're holding back. You're ready to make the sacrifice no matter what happens, all right? Not ready to budge. Five of swords, they're holding back. <clears throat> they want to pamper their ego. They want you to feed their ego. They want you to come back. They're not putting the effort. You're watching, stalking, spying. You're not taking action. They want to take control of the situation and boss up. They're very serious about you. You want this brand new beginning with this person. Okay. Uh, tell me about the death in reverse here. Tell me about the death in reverse, please. Tell me about the death in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. So there's this unknown energy, okay, with the moon here. You're both trying to figure out. This person's trying to figure out with the death in reverse here. They're having a hard time uh, releasing uh, this situation here, okay, with the four of pentacles in reverse here. So they're not ready to let you go. But at the same time with the four of pentacles here, I feel in reverse. It's that fear of the unknown, okay? They still don't know where this is leading to. So there's that unknown uh, energy which is causing a lot of fear, stress and anxiety, okay? Which is making things even more difficult for them to move forward towards you. <coughs> but, um, four of pentacles in reverse. So definitely I feel like this is someone who was greedy with their energy, who was in a state of shutdown, right? And if they're holding back something, I think they're ready to open up. Because they're not ready to let you go, okay? I think this person has a kind of a realization. And with the moon here, this person's trying to trust their intuition, their guides. They have a lot of feelings for you, okay? That's deep emotions. And power in reverse here. This person is just not ready to accept the fact that things are over, all right? You or them, both, whoever. They're ready to open up to you, okay? So it looks like they're going to come back to you very, very soon because they are not going to let you go. But when it comes to that little communication, that is a little bit of an issue here, okay? Wait for them. <clears throat> I feel they're going to come towards you soon. They will. Keep trusting your intuition, okay? Stop that shitty spying on them, okay? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Scorpios, I know how that is. But, well, let them come out of that energy, okay, with the five of Look, from five of swords here, six of swords in their approach. So they're very close, okay? They're very close to breaking that barrier and coming towards you. If you stick in that energy for a little longer, right, I have a feeling they will. They will, because they definitely, uh, their side shows a lot of signs of coming back to you, wanting to return back to you, okay? Because they're feeling very left out, very isolated, okay? Wait till that four of cups reverse. I mean, not like literally wait for it, for the four of cups and reverse. What I mean is wait for that person to come out of that stagnation and where they're ready to see things in a different perspective, okay? But let me let them realize that they're missing out opportunities with you. If you approach this person right now, there are, there are chances that this person is still not going to do that growing up, okay? Let them grow out. Let them know that they cannot stay in that lack mentality, okay? And they need to put in the effort. If they're not going to put in the effort, it's not going to work out, okay? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. That really helps the videos to um, channel out the messages to other viewers. Thanks a lot. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.